Hi viewers, accept heartiest compliments from Nadia Petscross. At Nadia Petscross, starting from October 13, 2020 till October 21, 2020, while celebrating the dog week, we are uploading breeding and farming guide videos on all breeds of dogs sequentially in an alphabetical order. In these videos you will learn complete sets of information on respective dog breed including its breed information, breed standards, breed history, feed and diets, reproduction, puppy care, diseases and cure, dog training techniques and much more. Before start of the video, an humble request, if you like the video you may share it wherever possible that will bring a sort of appreciation and acknowledgement to our efforts. You may also visit our website www.nadiapetscross.com At nadiapetscross.com, we offer everything your dog need, like dog food, dog clothes, feeding and drinking bowls and feeders, collars, leashes, dog training equipment, vitamins, supplements, high-quality durable grooming products, dog treats, dog toys, carrier bags and jet boxes, tick and flea control, dworming liquids and tablets and we also deliver the same across the country. At NadiaPetscross.com you can also learn and shop about every breed of birds, reptiles and animals including the breeding farming business plans, buy pet supplies, cage systems and a an huge variety of animals and birds feeds. Now starting with today's video and that is about Affenpinscher. The Affenpinscher, whose name translated from German means monkey-like terrier, is one of the most ancient of all toy breeds. Also known as the monkey pincher, the monkey dog, the monkey terrier, the black moustached devil or simply the affen, this is a lively, sturdy little dog whose intelligence, disposition and size make it a wonderful house dog and companion. The affen pincher has a neat but shaggy appearance with an endearing facial expression accentuated by a flat face, a prominent chin, bushy eyebrows, a moustache and a beard. The affen pincher is known for being courageous, reliable and inquisitive. Legend has it that one Affen faced up to an angry stallion and another confronted a grown grizzly bear on a trip with its owner to the Alaskan wilderness. The Affen Pincher was recognized by the American Kennel Club in 1936, as a member of the toy group. History and Health History Affen Pinchers were developed in Germany, where in the 16th and 17th centuries they were used to control the rodent population in kitchens, granaries, shops and stables. Over time, they were bred down in size and became equally welcomed as household companions, while still keeping mice and rats at bay. The ancestry of the Affenpinscher is not well documented. Many fanciers speculate that German pinches were mated with imported Asian breeds to create the flat-faced Affen. Regardless of its own ancestry, the Affenpinscher was a significant contributor to the development of many other small, rough-coated European breeds, including the miniature Schnauzer and the Brussels Griffin. Affenpinschers almost disappeared during World War II. When the war ended, fanciers crossed the remaining German stock with the Griffin Bruxellois, which exaggerated the unique face that identifies the breed today. The Pinscher Club was founded in 1895 in Cologne. In 1907, the Bayerische Schnauzer Club was formed. In 1923, these two clubs merged and became the Pinscher Schnauzer Club. The Affen Pinscher was admitted to the American Kennel Club Studbook in 1936. For some reason, this breed has never enjoyed immense popularity. In 1998, only 87 Affen Pinschers were registered in all of Great Britain, making this a rare breed. Today's Affen Pinscher excels in agility, rally and obedience disciplines, as well as in the conformation ring. He also is an excellent therapy dog. Mostly, however, the Affen Pinscher is an affectionate companion and charming lap warmer. Health Characteristics the average lifespan of an Affen Pinscher is 11 to 14 years. Due to the small size they may be at an increased risk of suffering tracheal damage from incorrect use of collars and leashes. Supplements which support joint health, and walking this breed on a harness instead of a collar and leash, can help to lower this health risk. Other breed health concerns may include the following. Heart problems, disorders and diseases that affect the dog's heart. Cataracts refers to any opacity of the lens of the eye. Dogs of either gender can develop cataracts. 
Hip dysplasia involves abnormal development and or degeneration of the coxofemoral hip joint. Hernias. Hypothyroidism, a clinical syndrome caused by inadequate production and release of the thyroid hormones triiodothyronine T3 and thyroxine T4. Leg calf perthes disease, defined as the spontaneous degeneration of the hip coxofemoral joint. Patella luxation, patella luxation, commonly known as a slip kneecap, occurs when the patella is displaced from the joint. Oligodontia, congenital absence of some teeth. Portosystemic shunts. Sebaceous cysts. Von Willebrandt disease, the most common hereditary blood clotting disorder in domestic dogs. Temperament and personality. Personality. Often pinches are tiny, but they have large personalities. They take themselves very seriously, and require everyone else to take them seriously as well, resulting in humorous interactions with people. The terrier blood makes them spunky and sassy, and many owners wonder if these tiny toy dogs know just how small they really are. Mostly seen as purse dogs by ladies around the world, the Affin is a lovely travel companion, easygoing and accepting of new situations. Just keep an eye on the Affin Pincher about town, this breed can be mischievous. Activity Requirements This toy breed does not require excessive amounts of exercise, a few short walks a day will suffice. Apartment dwellers should be cautioned, however, as Affins bark, so while they are small enough to dwell in close quarters, they may drive your neighbors crazy. If and pinches are good family dogs, they love to play and are affectionate, however they can be territorial and are not the best fit for a house with small children. When outdoors, Affins should be kept on a leash or in a fenced-in yard for their own protection. Toy breeds are easily injured and can even die from being stepped on, tripped over, or picked up by a large dog. Trainability. Affins are generally people pleasers but can be stubborn, so early training is key to having an obedient dog. They respond best to positive reinforcement, with lots of treats and affection. Consistency and a gentle hand are required to prevent the Affin from becoming distrusting of people. This tiny dog, with a ponchon for mischief makes a good therapy dog. They travel well, adapt well in new environments and m. At allaboutpets.pk we offer everything your dog's needs such as dog food, huge variety of dog clothes, steel and plastic bowls and feeders, collars and leashes, dog training equipment, vitamins and supplements, high-quality durable grooming products, treats, fun and interactive toys, carrier bags and jet boxes, tick and flea control, dworming liquids and tablets and delivery across the country. Behavioral traits. If and pinches are classic, yappy, dogs. They bark at just about anything and everything. This can be controlled with early training, but it generally can't be completely trained away. A fence are easily adaptable to new situations, but if not properly socialized, they can become wary of new people and places, causing them great anxiety. Breed standard. General appearance. The Affin Pincher is a balanced, wiry haired terrier-like toy dog whose intelligence and demeanor make it a good house pet. Originating in Germany, the name Affenpinscher means, monkey-like terrier. The breed was developed to rid the kitchens, granaries, and stables of rodents. In France the breed is described as the, diablotin moustachu, or moustached little devil. Both describe the appearance and attitude of this delightful breed. The total overall appearance of the Affenpinscher is more important than any individual characteristic. He is described as having a neat but shaggy appearance. Size, proportion, substance. A sturdy, compact dog with medium bone, not delicate in any way. Preferred height at the withers is 9 and a half to 11 and a half. Withers height is approximately the same as the length of the body from the point of the shoulder to point of the buttocks, giving a square appearance. The female may be slightly longer. Head. The head is in proportion to the body, carried confidently with monkey-like facial expression. Eyes round, dark, brilliant, and of medium size in proportion to the head but not bulging or protruding. Eye rims are black. Ears cropped to a point, set high and standing erect, or natural, standing erect, semi-erect or dropped. All of the above types of ears, if symmetrical, are acceptable as long as the monkey-like expression is maintained. Skull round and domed, but not coarse. Stop well defined. Muzzle short and narrowing slightly to a blunt nose. The length of the muzzle is approximately the same as the distance between the eyes. 
Nose black, turned neither up nor down. Lips black, with prominent lower lip. Bite slightly undershot. A level bite is acceptable if the monkey-like expression is maintained. An overshot bite is to be severely penalized. A wry mouth is a serious fault. The teeth and tongue do not show when the mouth is closed. The lower jaw is broad enough for the lower teeth to be straight and even. Neck, top line, body. Neck short and straight. Top line straight and level. Body the chest is moderately broad and deep, ribs are moderately sprung. Tuck up is slight. The back is short and level with a strong loin. The croup has just a perceptible curve. Tail may be docked or natural. A docked tail is generally between 1 and 2, long, set high and carried erect. The natural tail is set high and carried curved gently up over the back while moving. The type of tail is not a major consideration. Forequarters. Front angulation is moderate. Shoulders with moderate layback. The length of the shoulder blade and the upper arm are about equal. Elbows close to the body. Front legs straight when viewed from any direction. Pastons short and straight. Dew claws generally removed. Feet small, round, and compact with black pads and nails. Hindquarters. Rear angulation is moderate to match the front. Hind legs straight when viewed from behind. From the side, hind legs are set under the body to maintain a square appearance. The length of the upper thigh and the second thigh are about equal with moderate bend to the stifle. Hocks moderately angulated. Coat. Dense hair, rough, harsh, and about one in length on the shoulders and body. May be shorter on the rear and tail. Head, neck, chest, stomach and legs have longer, less harsh coat. The mature affenpinscha has a mane or cape of strong hair which blends into the back coat at the withers area. The longer hair on the head, eyebrows and beard stands off and frames the face to emphasize the monkey-like expression. Hair on the ears is cut very short. A correct coat needs little grooming to blend the various lengths of hair to maintain a neat but shaggy appearance. Color. Black, gray, silver, red, black and tan or belge are all acceptable. Blacks may have a rusty cast or a few white or silver hairs mixed with the black. Reds may vary from a brownish red to an orangey tan. Belge has black, brown, and or white hairs mixed with the red. With various colors, the furnishings may be a bit lighter. Some dogs may have black masks. A small white spot on the chest is not penalized, but large white patches are undesirable. Color is not a major consideration. Gait. Light, free, sound, balanced, confident, the affenpinscher carries itself with comic seriousness. Viewed from the front or rear while walking, the legs move parallel to each other. Trotting, the feet will converge toward a midline as speed increases. Unsound gait is to be heavily penalized. Temperament. General demeanor is game, alert, and inquisitive with great loyalty and affection toward its master and friends. The breed is generally quiet, but can become vehemently excited when threatened or attacked, and is fearless toward any aggressor. That is about all.